Rose taking on Trinidad for the second of our plate semifinal. Here joining us in the booth, Rob Turk and Freddie Halfman. Well, Welcome, everybody. So far, so far, so good. Things oh, are going yeah, on. yeah, I just got off the other game there, uh, Mexico, USA. Pretty exciting game. You can see uh, it's getting better and better. USA, obviously, you know, uh, dominated in the game, but still, we saw Mexico took a bit of the win out of the USA. That's like a good thing for Canada in the future because obviously now USA straight to the final. Mm -hmm. So again, Trinidad and Trinidad Tobago kicking off. Nice high ball, receiving it for Barbados, number seven, Leon Driscoll. Ball slow to come out here. Referee saying diving over against Barbados. Trinidad and Tobago in a great spot, and they go quickly. That's number five. Passing the ball, Kelsey and Fregro. And Barbados not rolling away. Second penalty right in front of the post. Trinidad and Tobago with a great position here to attack. And they do so, moving the ball right. Lovely step by that's number one, Stefan Kuksemi. And in for the try, they go. Quick start for Trinidad and Tobago. Well, they're on the up and up, Trinidad. I mean, uh, yesterday, uh, well, they came in uh, first into their pool after uh, a couple upsets yesterday. But now, uh, yeah, actually the second time these guys play each other, I think, this weekend. It is, it is, and Barbados. always a physical confrontation and close games. Yeah. So these teams would know each other very well, playing against each other in the Caribbean. On the sideline here for the extra conversion, number five, Kelsen Fegro. Yesterday, actually, uh, Trinidad that, winning that game 17 nothing against Barbados. And that would have been a bit of disappointment for them, wouldn't it? That would have been, yeah, because Barbados was really going to make a big upset. We were surprised by that. Okay, That's right. so here uh, we saw Trinidad that tried to do a little uh, quick kick here for a 10 meter. Referee bringing Didn't it back. Didn't pull saying, it off because there's another ball on the field there. Lucky for them because they, <laughs> they would have lost possession here. So kicking the ball off. Nice high kick on the right side yeah. of the field here for Trinidad and Tobago. But Barbados bringing it down cleanly. Securing that ball, slow to come out, but here it comes. That's our scrum half. Number one, Marcus Howard. Turnover ball. Oh, some Trinidad good Tobago. Speed. Strong guy. Number one, Cook Sammy looking to take advantage of a sloppy play by Barbados. Oh, nice oh, football pass. Lovely little football pass from that number eight, Kishin Walker. That's a pretty aggressive game here. They're setting the tone early. Barbados moving the ball go. out wide. Some space. And that's their speedster, number six, Anthony Ban Charles. Taking their time, being patient, keeping that ball alive, looking for the outside opportunities right now. Oh, picked, uh, picked off by Trinidad Tobago. Lovely interception by number five, Kelsey Fagro again, all over the place. But having difficulty securing possession. We got another turnover. Yeah, turnover. Oh, almost dropped it. Barbados. They found the, the no sweeper. Choosing a kick option and getting a good bounce. Chasing on Trinidad and Tobago's number one, Cook Sammy. Trying to buy time for his team. Again, under a lot of pressure. That's number eight, Keyshawn Walker. Referee Ooh, saying, was almost a try here. knock on, lucky, lucky. No advantage being played there. Ball's gone out. Referee there to make the call. So we'll have a scrum down for the knock-on for Barbados. Quick start to the game. Yeah. Like we've mentioned, these games are getting better and better. Teams are kind of closer placed. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty exciting rugby, actually. This is this is rugby. what I like. This is what I prefer. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we uh, we have to get through the round play, but. When it gets to the you know uh, quarters and semis, this is you know this is when it gets it gets exciting. You bet. So right now Barbados looking to feed the ball in. Number seven, Leon Driscoll. And being rivals in the Caribbeans, I mean, like you mentioned earlier, I mean, you always want to win win these games anyway. Mm -hmm. Whether you have something to play for in this tournament or not, you want to win these games because you're going to see these guys again and.
Sidestepping Driscoll again. Now that, that's exactly it. Yeah, bragging rights. You know, we know what that means. You bet. Keep trying to keep that ball alive. Referee saying it's played backwards. Hey, play on. Whistle hasn't gone yet. Switch from number 10 to number one. And that's Marcus Howard in for the try. Big score. We have number eight here for uh, Trinidad Tobago. Looks injured on the field. Grabbing his head. Also, the Bahamas player right there was quite lucky. Almost looked like a, a, a little knock on there, but I don't think it was. He caught it again before it got on the ground, and the referee let it play on. Good for them. 5-5 five, five so far, waiting for a conversion. As we said, a close game. Well, wasn't a close game, was it, the last time these teams met? 17-0. Yeah, so, so no, already. Uh, a little bit of redemption here. Five minutes in, 5-5, five, 7-5 five, five for Barbados. So we'll see number, that's number eight down on the field for Trinidad and Tobago. Keyshawn Walker, he's been monumental player yep. for them. Can't afford to lose him at this stage in the game, at this stage in the tournament. Getting some water now and hopefully he'll be up and ready to go. Looks like a potential substitution though. Well, yeah, because he's been actually on the ground for quite a while there. And uh, referee says play on. Referee's playing on, he's not in the way. A little disadvantage for... So, uh, Trinidad and Tobago play with six players. But moving the ball nicely, finding their holes. And here at that breakdown, Barbados. All right, he's back up. Ooh. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a uh, confrontation there. A little bit of a flop, a little bit of a late hit, and away we go. A little elbow to the chin and uh, a little soccer move there. Trinidad and Tobago calmly moving the ball. A little bit flat right now. I think they want a, a little bit more depth. Definitely, that's something we've seen. You know, as they get tired and the day, get, the day gets longer, definitely the teams get a little flatter, you know, the, the little back and forth. And uh, they're, they're paying for it here, turnover bar, bar, Barbados. by Barbados. There we go, BBB. Some of you kids that have done suicides in the past, that's what it's about, sevens rugby, there you go. And nice that's, switch that's pass. That's a lovely switch pass. We'll get the number soon. But just keeping that simple, exposing Trinidad and Tobago on the outside, stepping off that outside foot. This player made for speed, long legs, and fiery, and springy. And, and he's put his team ahead. Yeah. So Barbados avenging their defeat. Waiting again for the conversion. 12-5 so far. That's Barbados playmaker, number five, Sean Ward. Yeah. Fourteen five, half time. So, all right, as uh, we were talking about Barbados and Trinidad already met each other in this tournament. Now uh, Barbados is ahead by uh, seven points. It's gonna be an interesting second half. You know, they wanna avenge their defeat of yesterday. And uh, Trinidad de Bego is not gonna let that go either. I mean, uh, the injured player, they put, put his player, his, his team a little bit under pressure there on the on the kickoff. And yeah, this Barbados uh, team, a new combination of players for this tournament. So you would assume that the second day would be better than the exactly, first day. And, exactly. and they're displaying that today. I think yesterday a little, probably a little disappointed with the, the results and uh, seem to be tightening up their game. We, we must have both, uh, well, I remember living, and I'm sure you did, you know, when you're breeding in new players, there's always a kind of reassessment, redoing everything. You mm -hmm. know, it, it, it will create that, and it's true from day to day, it just gets better from now on, because we know that these young guys coming in, they're full of energy, uh, they're great athletes, you know, they're there for a reason. But the, uh, the, the connection, between players needs to be done on the field and at training and this is exactly what's happening like you're saying for Barba uh, B uh, Barbados yes and you see that those top sides even on the IRB World 7 circuit any uh, international sevens team the team has been together for a long period of time are more successful because you know how players uh, move you can react off them better and more predictable to you yeah exactly you know, it's just uh, you know, even you see some of these guys, they know each other, so they basically can throw a pass over their shoulder and just know that their their teammates there and little blind passes and behind the back. You know, it that's the sign of a cohesive team, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So about to get the second half underway here. Barbados will be kicking off this number seven, Leon Driscoll. Set up a few of their tries now. Kick their points after, conversions. 
Straight back into it. And here we go. Opting for a, a longer deeper, kick. Yeah. Trying to pin Trinidad and Trinidad and Tobago's down deep. There it goes, Trinidad. Trinidad and Tobago on the blind side, bringing the ball back, and that's their number eight. Again, throwing the ball in contact. You know, that that's one thing that I've been seeing a lot of, and uh, I'm sure the coaches won't be very happy with that. You want to keep secure that ball. You know, the 50-50 pass, you want to keep him in. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a perfect example of somebody that just, you know, gave away possession when they're on the up and up, you know? Right now, Barbados searching for that hole, but maintaining possession, such a critical part in the game. Flat pass, referee lets it play on. Big collision. Physical, I like that physical part of the game. Obviously, it's rugby, so we don't want to just see them play keep away. There, there you go, they're spreading the ball. Make these defenders run. Lovely little pass there. From Barbados, number two, Phil Lucas. And again, keeping that ball alive. It's not pretty, but oh, we have the turnover here. Trinidad and Tobago trying to capitalize, kicking the ball backwards, and they have it. A little bit of space on the sideline. And that's number seven, Daryl Scott. Trying to flip the ball over. And again, keeping position. Well done. A little there bit of space out attack, wide here. Yep. Spot tackle. And away we go, number one. Stefan Cook, Sammy, and he's going to go all the way. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, uh, here it says 14-5. Uh, I thought it was 12, but anyway. Underneath the post, should be an easy conversion to bring this within two. Now, we've seen that in a couple of our other games that we were watching, men's and women's, where the players wouldn't go all the way underneath the post and when you come to a close game like this it's important to get there every point counts uh, it, it will come down to i mean right now it is five minutes left in the game and it's a two-point game barbados switching in a couple of players can help us out with the number number 12 coming in so we got number 12 coming in and that's dominic peters for barbados number eight coming in to lead 14, Number eight, well. Liam Cooper King. Some of these names are just great for rugby. I'll be honest with great you. Great sports almost, names. It's almost like the parents were uh, knew what was going to be. Uh, this you saw in the future. That's it. Barbados, wide side of the field, trying to kick the ball out of danger. Not a very handy kick, though. Maybe not for rugby, but great for uh, being an athlete. Anyway. And there we go. Referee, looks like they're going to be reversing the ball here. Referee saying the ball was tipped out of bounds, so we'll have a Barbados throw in inside their 22. Secure play, oh. trying to get that ball out. <laughs> kicked it, he kicked it, bounced off a player and came back into yeah. his hands. So, sort of incidental contact, the referee's calling, scrum down. TNT right where they want to be in the red zone. What do you think here? Are they going to look to spin the ball out wide and create a one-on-one? -on -one? Well, I'm hoping they're going to spread it out and score a try right in the corner. That'd be ideal because they have the speed to do it. And they need it right now, down by two points. Let's at see what kind of set play they're going to pull off. First of all, they have to have the ball. Oh, yeah, that was good. A little loop yep, around, and that's, that's their exactly number 11, Abdul yeah. Silverton, Silverton, and Oh. He's not in for a try. The crowd really getting into this one. Lovely defense by Barbados, never giving up. And now, a little sloppy play, and referee says, ball's been touched down. He's going oh. to his sideline official for a uh, consensus on what they saw. And we're five meter scrum. Yep, five so meters scrum. Five, so meter, five yep. meters scrum. So is this Touchdown where? By Barbados. So Barbados would have taken the ball yep. over the line. That's, okay, that's what a scrum. Though. Yeah, that's what it would be. Missed opportunity there. Uh, it was a two on one straight to the outside. Player chose to, to take it himself. We were talking about that just earlier in the game. You know, when you have a for sure 
try. I, I know he probably thought he was in, but mm -hmm. the reality is the defense there was good. And uh, yeah, missed nice. opportunities for T Trinidad Tobago. But it's interesting to see uh, Trinidad and Tobago trying that loop around and it, and it being successful. So these skills, they're starting to come together a little bit more in the second day, identifying maybe weaknesses yep. on their opponents and trying to create that overlap. Yep. Sloppy scrum, good push from Barbados on the defensive end, and they might be rewarded with the ball coming back to the Trinidad side. Overthrow, a bit of an overthrow out on the wing. Oh. That's out on the wing, and that's number 12 for Trinidad and Tobago, Joseph Fashi, and he's in for another score. Okay, now it's gonna get interesting. So we're about 12 minutes, 30 seconds into this game. 17-14 with a conversion to come. Oh, so now uh, Trinidad Tobago is taking the lead by three points. This conversion actually turns out to be quite important here. Makes it a five-pointer, and then uh, Barbados needs five points to tie. Oh, this could be very interesting. This is what we want. This oh. is what we like. And we've seen this in the second day, haven't we, Freddie? Yeah. A lot of close games, high intensity. Well, you were talking about that wraparound play there. Yeah, we played. We did that against South Africa mm -hmm. in Hong Kong and won the game on a play like that. So beautiful. Yeah, right? but when you it, have those big upsets. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's uh, and, and and we went all the way to the end, right, straight to the wing. Wow. And that's it, you know, uh, connecting. We talk about that, the d development of the, uh, these sort of teams, bringing the, that skill and element into it, yeah. uh, into their games. They have the athletes, they have the speed, yeah. and, and they're only getting better. Yeah, it comes down to, we, uh, we've talked about this a lot throughout the weekend, but the decision making, it comes with experience. So you have to be playing to, to, to live these situations to do the proper things. So Trinidad and Tobago kicking off here in our last minute of play. Up yeah. by five. Now they kept kicked deep there to put them under pressure in their own zen. You might not want to be challenging for this one. Some you want to spread may, out on yeah, defense. That's, that's right. Great. You don't want this overlapping. Barbados looking to move it wide on the left side of the field here. Keeping possession. Nice leg drive. And that's number five, Sean Ward, their go-to player. Ball coming out of the field and Barbados on the attack. Overthrow, but one bouncer. Backwards, the referee says. Play continues. Lovely tackle, and that is Trinidad and Tobago's 11. Silverthorne all over the field on offense and defense, but Barbados keeping that ball alive. Come on! Struggling to try to get out of that tackle. Lovely ruck by Barbados uh, 12. That's almost a penalty right there. Dominique Peters. Referee saying ball's out of bounds. Looks that way. And he's going to sideline official for a, to make sure. Final horn goes. We'll see what the ref's call is. Line out, line out for Barbados. So officials. That could have almost been a penalty there. We, uh, I don't know if you agree with that. Yeah, yep. it looked intentional. You can't really just throw your foot in there when the uh, the ruck is formed. So last overthrow. chance for Barbados and an overthrow. Crucial this time. Trinidad and Tobago, smart kick out of bounds. And they've won. Close, exciting game here at Quinelm Rugby Park. So. Our final score, Trinidad.